Warner Bros. just keeps baffling me, and it is making me pissed off, to be frank. We're having here Ezra Miller, who's been accused of assault charges, and there's even allegations of him grooming a minor and housing children in dangerous environments. And yet, uh, Warner Bros. Discovery executives are looking to continue uh, Ezra Miller as The Flash. Meanwhile, you have fans that want Henry Cavill to be in Superman and be Superman, but we are having the executives obviously push that away and have someone else be recasted as Superman. It keeps baffling me that, that everything that the fans want, it's always the opposite end that they get. And I, no one wants Ezra Miller to continue on with The Flash because of all the things that have been happening with him. But here we are, just because he's doing good now, all else is forgiven, apparently. Warner Bros. Discovery has been all over the place with their changes involving their DC film projects. It was recently revealed that James Gunn and Peter Safran would take over the newly minted DC studios, but they would also inherit their problems, including their the Flash issue. Ezra Miller made headlines for weeks after he allegedly assaulted people at a karaoke bar in Hawaii, as well as numerous other allegations that have been housing children in dangerous envir- environments and also potentially grooming a minor. Reports were claiming that the studio was trying to decide what they would do with The Flash, with the options being to reshoot with a different actor, shelve the film, or release it, and hope that the controversy died down. The two former options would have been too costly for Warner Bros. And we know that Warner Bros. is an extreme amount of debt. It's no surprise that they're not going to be able to do reshoots. Even with the new Aquaman 2, reshoots are out of the option now. Even Amber Heard's most likely going to be in the film because of budget restraints. Because of how broke Warner Bros. is right now. So they opted to release the film next year. Miller eventually went in to apologize for his actions. And began treatment for mental health issues. According to a new report from Variety. It seems that the actor could stay on as the Scarlet Speedster. Given that Miller has stayed out of trouble. Since beginning mental health treatment in the summer. The trade continued. Some executives are amendable to continuing. With the actor as the world saving speedster. After the flash bows on June 16th. It baffles me that these allegations came out a few months ago. And yet here we are, we're seeing him continue on as the Flash. Meanwhile, we have people out here that are being accused of actions that happened decades ago. And their careers get ruined. And here we are with Miller. Apparently his career is going to continue and flourish as being the Flash. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.